Donating blood or plasma can be hard work. That's why we get the cookies, right? But did you know even more hard work happens after you donate? I'm Andrew Chapman, and today I'm at the Canadian Blood Services Testing Facility to learn how medical laboratory professionals put each plasma donation to the test, all for patient care. Let's meet the people working behind the scenes, keeping Canada's blood and plasma supply safe and ready, today in the lab. I'm here with Derek and Sheila. Thanks very much for being here today. What do you guys do here? I am a TSPT, which stands for Technical Specialist Trainer. Okay. So I'm the one that does the training of new employees or any new procedures, um, training basically. So you train everybody on how to do everything? Most things. Ah, amazing. <laughs> and what do you do, Sheila? I'm a TSP TDC, so I'm a technical specialist for transmissible disease and also confirmatory. Whoa, you guys are very <laughs> important people. You're like, like the guardians of all these blood samples, really. So when a donor sample arrives here, what's the first thing that happens to it? Well, the first thing we do is we evaluate to make sure that it was transported properly. It has to be in a special box. It can only be in the box for up to 26 hours. It has a temperature monitoring device inside the box, and it also has a um, tamper device on the outside of the box. And so we have to make sure that it's maintained and nobody's tampered with it. And then the samples can come out of the box. They get centrifuged, so they get spun down, so that it's divided into serum or plasma with the red cells at the bottom of the tube. Then they go on a front-end automation, piece of equipment that divides them into racks for the instruments that the, they're going to be tested on. So okay. this saves a lot of time. We get 1,500 to 2,000 samples a day, which is actually 8,000 tubes of blood. Really? Because we get four tubes from every donor, from the donor centers, for testing purposes. And that's what you're testing, right? Is, is blood? Is that yes. right? Yes. yes. The samples come in, uh, in in tubes, different types of tubes, and we run different tests on it. So there's, a, like Sheila said, the TVD markers, transmissible disease markers. H like what? What's, what's a transmissible disease? So uh, the viruses, uh, HIV, HTLV, HBV, HCV, syphilis, those are basically transmissible. We also test blood groups, uh, the ABORH group, blood groups uh, of each donor, and we test whether they have any antibodies uh, to any of the antigens on the blood groups. So basically, it's all to ensure that the blood is as safe as possible. And you also test plasma. Yes, at Canadian Blood Services, we test plasma for um, all the transmissible diseases. We have to make sure that the donors are tested properly to make it safe for the patients that the blood's going to be going to. That's important work. Thank you so much for doing that, and thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. You're welcome. So. We've seen the medical laboratory professionals working hard behind the scenes, but the plasma is not quite ready for the patient just yet. Watch the next video in this series to follow the journey of donor to patient. Or if you want to see more videos like this one and learn what happens in the lab, visit medlabprofessionals.ca.